It's Saturday night, and I'm Pastor Rick. Thanks for listening. This is Resurrection Eve. Tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. here at FCC, we're going to be celebrating the news. He is risen. And then at 11 o'clock, oh, if you're in the area, it'll be worth the drive to come and hear the Penview Bible Institute Choir, Orchestra, as we praise our risen Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, our service will be a spiritual service. It won't be characterized by lights and shows and crazy things, but we're going to have the presence of the Lord here. The risen Christ will meet with us, and I hope you're planning to be here. Whatever you have planned during that time, why don't you set it to a little bit later and come on out and be here at 11 o'clock and 6 o'clock tomorrow night. This past week has been a, a heartbreaking one for our family. My precious wife lost her mother to a long battle with stomach cancer and uh, lung disease and just been very, very miserable for several months now. But praise the Lord, she's home with the Lord now. And I want to thank the Lord for a wonderful mother-in-law, a wonderful father-in-law. I uh, know she's at home with the Lord. I'm positive. And the reason I'm positive is because she loved the Lord and she demonstrated her love by her life. And she was a lady full of grace and love for her family and for the church and most of all for her Lord. And we're going to miss her. The reunion day is coming. Somebody said, how do you know anybody really makes it to heaven? Well, I'll tell you how. Beyond the cross, there's a tomb that's empty. Praise God. Needing strength for my journey, I knelt at the cross where Jesus once died. I asked, is this the place where hope abides? And this he said to me, beyond the cross is a tomb that's him.
is life everlasting and there's hope blessed hope that is ours in a risen Christ. We pray, Lord, that you would give all of us that blessed hope that is born of living faith that produces genuine love. And I pray, Lord, that you would be especially with those who have lost loved ones in recent days. There's been just a number of folks that we have ministered to and now we are praying for our own family once again thy grace rest upon John and the family we are so grateful Lord for their testimony and their witness we pray Lord that you'd help us to never forget that the empty tomb is the definite absolute assurance that we have that there is life beyond the tomb just as Jesus rose, so one day these mortal bodies will rise, and we will ascend into the heavens, and there will we ever be with the Lord. Praise God. Bless us, Lord, on Resurrection Sunday. It's already begun in some parts of the world. We pray, Lord, that many would be swept into the kingdom of God. Bless thy servants as they proclaim the greatest news the world has ever heard. He is risen. He is risen indeed. And may we be found faithful in Christ's name.